you know what the devil looks like? I sold my soul to him last night. Well, I'll tell you what. You see, you, you took the cheap way out. Cheap way out is always the best way, baby. <laughs> well, okay, control room. You know what to do with that one. <laughs> Hello, how are yeah. you? Praise the Lord. I'm doing good. Great. How long have you been playing guitar? Oh, well, let's put it this way. I don't claim to be a guitar player, but I've been playing at it hmm. for just about 35 to 36 years. Do you know your guitar's out of tune? Well, I don't think that's possible. For oh, the it really does sound out of tune. Well, I, uh, John, did I tune this to the guitar tuner? Right before we uh, Just started. before we went on the air, so must well, be. Well, I don't know. It sounds like there's something wrong. Well, there. It doesn't well, sound that. Well, maybe it's wrong with me, but it ain't the guitar. Hmm. All right. Well, praise Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Mike Mayo loves Jesus. Hit your, G, hit your G there. G, hit your G gone. there. Jeez, hit your G call. there. I think we got a telephone call on the air. I'm hoping it's a good one. Go ahead, caller. Oh, it's a good one. Well, I just wanted to say I like your show. Well, good. Yeah, I have a question for you. Uh, How did you guys get started playing guitar together? Well, John and I, we kind of started playing. Uh, John is a... Uh, We've been trying to spread the word ever since we moved up here. Uh-huh. Trying to get rid of the, the prostitution and drug use in, in our neighborhood. Uh-huh. But it, it just doesn't seem to be taking a hold. But as you know, Jesus will keep me strong. And and uh, it's all going to work out, okay? It sounds great. I was telling that to the prostitute I had in my house the other night. Uh huh. She wouldn't listen. She wouldn't listen. I just said, fine. If you aren't going to finish sucking my cock. Oh, boy. That's such a controversial subject. Uh-huh. And, uh... Well, so are you. Let's... <laughs> yeah, I am. I definitely am. Can you play God is Dead and No One Cares by Nine Inch Nails? I like to think about Jesus. I like, I like to, uh, you know, the way he was tortured on, on the cross. He was tortured. Uh, that's, that's real cool, the way he was tortured and stuff. Uh-huh. They, they beat him. They, they took a scourge and they beat him and stuff. Uh, that was real cool. Uh-huh. And, and, and can you play the retread song? The what? The retread song. I don't think I know it. Yeah, you do. I heard you sing lots of times. The retread? Yeah, the retread song. Uh, how's it go? I'm a retread. That's my name. I'm a retread. Yes, I am. I cut my teeth on country music. Don't they look nice and sharp? No. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I, I don't think the Lord um, on the cross had probably as much pain to bear as, as all the sea beers have in all the years you've been on the radio. And I think as far as your guitar playing goes, I've heard better sounds come out of my pet dog's posterior. And I thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I am not a guitar player. <laughs> because I've heard, I've heard uh, dogs sounded better than my guitar playing, too. Okay, go ahead, caller. Um, hi, hi uh, Lord bless you there, uh, Captain Mustache. <laughs> Lord bless you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just calling in to say uh, uh, God bless from uh, Don Coyote. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. If you're acting like some dumb cow or some uh, some horse or some pig or some dog, right? Or like Go ahead, caller. Oh uh, yeah, I was just wondering, do you ever have uh, sex with your partner over there? <laughs> Cut him off, control room. Yeah, I have a question too. Okay. Yeah, do you ever have uh, uh, have sex with your partner over there? Oh, it's the same guy. Cut him off. We don't need for that. We don't have room for that nonsense. That is, people have got to be sick. They are. <laughs> That's true. Let's put it this way. God didn't make them Adam and Steve. He made them Adam and Eve. Make sure you got Adam and Eve. Don't go get Adam and Steve. Amen to that. Don't work right. Creates AIDS. <laughs> Creates AIDS. <coughs> Creates AIDS. <coughs> Lord bless you all. Go ahead, caller. Hi, caller. Hey, hey, Reverend. How are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'd like to tell you that I'm a uh, born-again Christian. Well, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love him, you know. Um, but the other night, you know, Jesus came to me in a dream. Uh-huh. You ever had this? He actually talked to me. Well, Even I've Even though had... it was a dream, you know, I still think that it was really him who came to me. And he walked up to me. And he said, kneel before me and pray to me, for, uh, for I love you. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I kneeled down and I started praying. And you know what he did? What? He rammed his cock down my throat. <laughs> well, 
I suppose it takes all kinds, doesn't it? Huh? Well, <laughs> that was foul. He talks about being a Christian. Go ahead, caller. Um, hi, hi, Reverend. How are um, you? I, I'm doing pretty good. Pray, praise the Lord. Um, I'm a John Denver fan from way back when, and uh, I'm, I'm really kind of, you know, mourning his loss. Uh huh. I, I, I thought he was a great man. Um, he did a lot for for the environment and everything. And I'm wondering if you could uh, if you could play Rocky Mountain High. Do you know that one? Uh, I know how to say that. <laughs> So, Can I hear you say it? <laughs> Thank God I'm a country boy. <laughs> Thanks. Um, today's my birthday. Today's your birthday? Yeah, so I was wondering if maybe perhaps you could play Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. How old are you, pal? I'm uh, 27. You're 27. What's yep. your first name? My first name is uh, Jim. Your first name is Jim. Happy birthday to you and me oh. more. Uh, oh, man. How about that? <laughs> Happy birthday, Jim. I mean, we all sit back and, and curtail you. I mean, we don't say anything about your stupid mustache or the way that you guys uh, sing so shitty. Or And uh, the thing is, uh, I did... Uh, I did. Whenever a bu when somebody calls in on our show and he makes a stupid remark that's almost as bad as my stupid looking mustache and it's almost as bad as my stupid singing uh he called in on a live christian television show and he pulled that nonsense and we don't need it there's enough of it does do you smoke marijuana i never have my name is joshua crabtree uh-huh and um i am a terminally ill cancer patient uh-huh um i was wondering if you could sing a song for me what song would you like? It's called Whistle When You're Low. Whistle When You're Low? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you, but I, I honestly don't know it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because I, if I knew it, I would sure be glad yeah, to try to sing it. Yeah, sing it for you if we knew it. Okay? Okay. Lord bless you now, and thanks for calling. Thanks for yes. calling. Each day's a gift. Okay. I'm calling in about an uh, uh, update on my friend. Uh-huh. He's on, he called a couple weeks ago. Uh-huh. His name is Jason Crabtree. Uh-huh. He called in because he had uh, terminal cancer. Uh-huh. And uh, ever since then, we've been praying for him, and he healed. Well, praise the Lord. He's all, he's all better now. Well, that is great. I'll tell you what, we will continue to pray for him. Yeah. We will continue also to praise the Lord for him. He really appreciates you praying for him and the show. Oh, no, that's all right. Now, what's his first name? His name is uh, Jason Crabtree. Jason. Yeah. You have touched Jason, Lord. We. What you want to yeah. pray about tonight? I was hoping you could pray for me. Uh, I'm having a hard time here. Okay. Um, I'm a, I'm addicted to heroin. Okay. And I like sucking dick and fucking horses in the. Hey. Air. Lord, help these people. Hello. Hello. Hi, is this the Reverend on the radio? Yes, it is. How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm not feeling too good, Reverend. My brother Gene had a stroke, and he's in the hospital, and he has two young daughters, and we don't know if he's going to speak again. He was in surgery, and he had a stroke. He was in penile implant surgery. He was trying to increase the length of his penis. He was trying to get a... Brother, you're going to wish you hadn't called me tonight. You're playing games with God, and you're going to die like a fool dies. Hello? What are we praying about? Yeah, see, um, I was really, really wondering if you could tell me how magnets work. How what? How magnets work. How magnets work? Yeah. You have a prayer line. We don't, you, you called a prayer line. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. What's that got to do with prayer? It's important to me. I thought Jesus could help me figure it out. Well, I'm going to pray for you because I think you're trying to play games. Hi, I have a, um, I have a prayer, and uh, it's, wrong. it's my brother. Okay. Um, he's, he has cerebral palsy, and um, 
he's, he just has a lot of problems. He's grossly overweight, and uh, he suffers from a lot of paranoia and delusions. And he thinks, he always thinks people are watching him all the time, and it's just really, it's starting to get really bad. Right. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Attica, Ohio. Okay, let's pray. Father, tonight in Jesus' name, touch the situation. Move on this son. I pray right now. Touch his brother. I ask you to move in the family. And Amen. Father, we Amen. thank you for good news in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. I really, I really, I really thank you. I just needed a fucking miracle. You know? Brother, you need Jesus is what you need. Hallelujah. Yes, um, I would like to pay for you, pay for you, so you lose fat because you're too fat, nigga. You don't fit on the screen. You have to like zoom out. Brother, Are you collecting the donation money for um, liposuction? Brother, you need help. You need Jesus. Hallelujah. A saying, don't, 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 don't let the devil, don't let him lie. Hey, Brother Bill, how you doing? Fine, how you doing? Hey, this is the tax man. Man, you got the devil mad with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, how you doing? Where you, call Where you calling from? Good morning. Good morning, where are you calling from? What's the matter? Where are you calling from? Stop it! I'm uh, Detective John Kimball. All right. I'm a police officer. John Kimball, I'll tell you what we're going to do, brother. This yeah. is a prayer line, so if you call this line, you're going to get some prayer, so get ready. Let's pray. God, I thank you with John Kimball here tonight. Now, I pray God you touch him right now. From the top of his head to the sole of his feet in Jesus' name. We got over 2,000 people watching us yeah. on the internet right now. Right. And a few crazy people. That's right. They but you know that some is serious and some don't really know what's going on. That's right. They huh? can't figure us out, can they? Nobody can't figure us out. And the power of God stirring up the devil. That's right. Yes, God bless you on the air. Go ahead. Hello? How are you? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. All right. What, what you need prayer tonight? Uh, I, I got to tell you something before my prayer. Um, you know all those ignorant people coming in talking about having sex with horses and stuff? They're all from E-Bomb's world. Yes, God bless you. Who did? Can I help? And I played on the basketball coach outside of my school. Can I help you? Relaxing, relaxing on court. All right. Okay, take him on. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't talk to basketball. God bless you. Can I help you? Give me a prayer, please. Where are you calling from, sir? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Yeah. Push it up a little bit where I can hear what he's saying. <laughs> All right, put it back down. Yeah. All right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I got you low now. You tried to throw some music on me, but I'm going to throw some prayer back on you right now. <laughs> You're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? How you doing? I just want to know if God wants to touch me. I really feel like I need God to touch me. Well, He will touch you, brother. Let me tell Where? you. Let me anywhere you want it touched. <coughs> From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, and you just hang on, and we're gonna pray, and we'll see can He touch you. God, I thank you right now yeah. for this brother oh, right here yeah. on the end of the telephone. Oh, I yeah. pray right now, God, you touch him from the top of his head uh, to the sole of his feet. Uh, turn him upside down. Uh, flip him over. Shake him and break him. Uh, and don't turn him loose. Pray, Papa. I'm to deliver this man tonight from himself. In Jesus' name. Woo. You get ready, son. He's out of you now. Woo. Somebody shout glow. I've had fun tonight. <laughs> Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> I just pray that he gets bread on his table and that he never lets the Lord go. He never gives him up. All right. All right. I, I want to I shout, and Jesus is brought upon me. I might get there. It was amazing. <laughs> Will you ready? Let's pray right now. I would like to pray for my mom and my dad and my pet mud Woo! All right. Get ready. We pick the prayer. Hey, man. How you doing? 
Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Where are you calling from? I'm uh, calling from Manchester, England. Where are you calling are you? from? Where are you calling from? From England. England? Yeah, and what? Oh, yeah. And you need prayer tonight? Yeah, well, I want to talk to the fat the fat guy. All right, uh, you got it. Him, what, uh, time, what, time, brother, what time is it in England tonight? Shit, so get the fuck out. What? What time is it in England? Time for you to get your tits out. Cut him off. Father, we pray for this man tonight. We ask you to shut his lips and deliver him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, God bless you. help you. Hey, Reverend. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Fine. Where you calling from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Reverend. Yeah, do I you know. have... Do you have battle toads? What's that now? Battle toads. You need prayer tonight? No. You don't need prayer? I need a battle toad. Well, you know what? You called the wrong number, sir. I need battle toads. Bye. <laughs> you don't need prayer? What, what's yeah, the call? wrong number. Wasting That's our right. time. I told her I ain't want to talk about bird toad oh. and your toe or my toe. Hello? I'm right here. Go ahead. All right, all right. The, the Lord, he he tells me I'm I'm in searching for something, but I don't know what I'm searching for. Well, you're searching for Jesus. What? You searching for Jesus? Yes. Search for Jesus. I want him to touch me up and down. Well, I, I, that's what he's going to do tonight, and all I right. want I want you to let's touch and agree. And I, I want him to touch me, touch me any way. Any way he wants me to. All right. And that's what we're going to pray tonight. All right. Let's, we're going to pray that God's going to touch you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't I done, I done feel something jumping. Oh, oh I, yeah. I, I, feel, oh, yeah. I feel something already. Woo. Woo. You see the prophet? Amen. I feel Get ready. You're going to get something right now. Talib says, with the looming threat of a hunk park government, how will the divided Westminster fat cats clarify the direction they're taking concerning education? I have serious doubts about their ability to cooperate beyond party lines. All signs point to this being a poor hung, parliament, hung government. I remain cautiously optimistic, though, that the Lord will not allow this country to fall into further disrepair. My faith in Christianity enables me to hope that this will be a well-hung government. Hopefully, the dissolution of party protection will allow for greater transparency throughout the government. And as a result, more than ever, we will be able to tell how well-hung our government is. It must become completely apparent, otherwise our economy and our livelihoods will continue to flop. We need a stiff hung park government to focus simply on what is best for Britain rather than what is best for their party. I agree. I mean, unfortunate men who have died. Okay. Uh, Richard says, uh, <laughs> how are you both? You're looking glorious. <laughs> Your channel is a constant comfort to me. As an OAP, I was deeply disturbed and saddened by the recent... Um, passing of Clara Stokes, who was said to be wallowing in filth in an NHS bed. It reminded me that although we should be able to trust our doctors and nurses, our only true reliance must be on God. Um, let me see. Uh, I think it was Peter Mandelson who Cleveland steamed this story through Westminster. Clearly, this message has hit home with so many. How many other unsung sufferers must there be out there, though? 
We all need to stop being so concerned about life's little luxuries. The designer jeans, the flashy shirts, the Cincinnati bow ties, and ensure that everyone is allowed what should be a fundamental human right, which is proper health care. Through Jesus, we can make this happen. Please write to the NHS Director of Administration, Anthony Felch, to protest this treatment and make sure that nurses are kept alert and concerned about their patients' well-being, says that's Richard. Right. Okay, thanks very much, that's right, Richard. That, that, that story is a very sad one. Oops. Glad to see you in touch. Um, you touch upon this issue, the Korean situation. Really important that we all take a stand as Christians. They'll be holding a vote in the next months as to whether... Um, Suk Mui Wang should be replaced. Let's make sure he does. Okay. I really have to confess I, I don't know enough about it. I, I really don't. But, uh, but we, 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 we certainly need to. Um, how dare David Cameron act like everyone's friend. He's the furthest away from a common man. He was privately educated and speaks as if he has a gooch in his mouth. Not to mention his slimy appearance. He says no amount of off equality can be enforced by the law of the land. All change must David. come from the inner David self. Certainly doesn't we can tolerate like David through law, Cameron. but true equality through law? No. The There's drama day. on the streets of London and Birmingham. We must hang, metaphorically, the DJ and those that fill out our minds with corruption within the media absolutely that's right yes like um, a comment made by um, a gay person Jason says um, how can one man we're talking about John Terry here the uh, footballer um, who um, was caught having an affair says how can one man treat his marriage vows with such disrespect I think the footballing culture encourages this disloyalty we see time and time again these stories emerging of all kinds of lewd acts that these supposed footballers engage in as England captain though this controversy is right up there with the severe irregularities partaken in by Ireland midfielder Mike Hunt whose name has become synonymous with filth oh he's the captain is he, he is, oh he, is a, he brings uh, the, the organization to disrepute well Christopher here says um, Good morning, our mornings. Good morning, Christopher. I think the reason we see such unfortunate events as the one that Terry has participated in is because footballers live within a bubble from away from the reality of life. They have no financial concerns, paid an absolutely ridiculous amount by anyone's standards. I'm a farmhand, and out here in the fields I have to fight every day for my meals. I put my back into my living. It is the footballers that will have to fight in the future to prove that, that they're right. They are the ones that need to be forgiven. These footballers, barely out of their teens, are a complete joke. We live in an utter teenage wasteland. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Mm, bi 